there is a lot of debate among professors like myself about what to do with homework in the era of ChatGPT and AI. How are we going to build our homework sets so that students can cheat using these tools? How on earth are we going to design our assignments so they are ChatGPT proof? Well, let me tell you, I am not concerned. It is true that even the free version of ChatGPT, this is the version on my phone, it's really powerful even in moderately advanced mathematics. Here, for example, I asked ChatGPT to show that the SL2Z, the special linear group of two by two matrices with uh, integer coefficients is a finitely generated group. And very quickly, it gave me a very good solution. So why am I not concerned that the students will go into my algebra course and solve all of my problems using ChatGPT? The reason is that I treat my students as adults and I treat my classes as opportunities for them to learn, not for them to get a grade. So I offer lots of problems that students can try and attempt so they can learn the material. And if they want to cheat themselves from that opportunity and go through every problem, find a computer solution and hand that in, you're welcome to do that. And then they are missing the opportunity to practice so that they can learn the material, to practice so that they can ask me questions. And then when the exams come, which are in person and they have to do on their own without the aid of a computer, they are not going to be able to solve any of the problems. The homework contributes to a fair amount of the grade because it is a lot of work and I reward students for doing all that work throughout the semester. But if you bob all three exams and you have a perfect score in homework, that's not going to help you to pass the class. And look, as professors, this is not our first rodeo and we have had to deal with cheating and cheaters in all sorts of forms. And uh, there is all sorts of tools that students have been able to use in the past to contact humans to solve their questions. So what's the difference between a human and some AI engine? Even in this platform, a popular science communicator has admitted that she would impersonate the students and take exams for them for money. So there's all sorts of ways that students have cheated in the past that students have cheated themselves from the education they're paying for. So I'm not concerned that we will find a way to just work around uh, the power of ChatGPT and instead actually use that power in our favor as an educational tool.